Did you know that 60% of Alberta is covered in forest? Forestry is one of the largest industries in Alberta, employing over 19,000 Albertans. The forest provides us with a renewable resource that we use in many ways. And because it's renewable, uh, we're able to manage it sustainably to make sure that we always have healthy forests and that we have access to products indefinitely. Sustainability is incredibly important. Uh, plants, animals, and insects rely on the forest for a home. We rely on the forest for recreation, products, and oxygen. Because of this, we have environmental scientists that work together to make plans for the forest that go up to 200 years in the future. We also have hardworking tree planters that plant over 70 million trees each year in Alberta. What do you think about when you think of forest products? Probably building materials like lumber, paper products like facial tissue and toilet paper. But there's a lot of other things that we don't really think about when we think of trees. We have scientists uh, working at research institutions and forestry companies working to develop alternative forest products. Some of these organizations include FP Innovations and Alberta Innovates. One major area for uh, forest products innovation is in building materials. And I'm talking beyond the two by four and onto engineered wood products. Some engineered wood products that you might be familiar with include plywood and OSB. But there are others that have uh, very different applications. Uh, pictured next is, uh, is going to be CLT, which stands for Cross Laminate Laminated Timber. Uh, this is a wood panel made with lumber oriented in opposing directions, which creates exceptional strength and stability. Uh, also, the thickness of CLT makes it fire resistant because when wood, thick pieces of wood burn, they char, which creates a protective barrier. Uh, products like CLT also uh, provide uh, enhanced load-bearing capacity, and so we're able to make large wood buildings like this student residence at the University of British Columbia. But forest products innovation goes well beyond uh, building materials. Cellulose, which is basically the building block of a tree, can be used to bulk up our products. Things like toothpaste, makeup, and some of our foods like salad dressing and ice cream. Cellulose can also be used, uh, it can be broken down into its nanofibers and be used to make plastic. We can actually replace all of the petroleum in plastic with these nano wood fibers to make a product that is just as strong, but which tends to be lighter, and best of all, it comes from a renewable resource. Another really cool area of innovation in, oh, sorry, I'll talk about the applications. Uh, so we can actually use this plastic for um, water bottles. If you've ever seen that little green plant bottle symbol on your water bottle, on your Dasani bottle, uh, that plastic has come from plants. Also, some car companies are using these plant-based plastics for their plastic car parts, like uh, car door panels. Biofuels are another area of innovation in forestry. Uh, many forestry companies are using wood residuals, uh, which would otherwise go to waste. Things like sawdust and uh, wood chips uh, to generate power for their mills and selling the excess to the grid. Pulp mills are also making another kind of biofuel. Lots of water is used in the pulp making process. And before that water can be returned to the river it came from, it must be cleaned. So they use microorganisms to clean the water, and when they decompose, they give off a gas, which can be trapped and used for a fuel. This may look like a pile of dirt, but it is actually something called lignin, which is a natural uh, byproduct of wood. It can be used for the plastics and biofuels that I've mentioned, and it can also be used as an adhesive. Drones have some pretty cool applications in forestry because they are able to reach areas that are difficult to get to. Some applications include uh, mapping, uh, doing post-wildfire monitoring, 
and taking an inventory of both the forest and of log yards. Why are these men wearing sunglasses inside? Those are actually 3D glasses, and uh, they're used uh, for, to view aerial photography through 3D mapping software. This allows foresters to see information like wildlife populations, tree height, and species right from their office. Aerial photography can also be downloaded onto tablets and brought right out into the forest, allowing foresters to uh, identify significant features of the land base, things like bear's dens, uh, nesting sites, and water courses. There's also significant research going on with respect to the environment. How many of you have heard of the mountain pine beetle? Lots of you. So they are wreaking havoc in our forests, especially in BC, but also in Alberta. And scientists are working on uh, ways to get ahead of the beetle, things like prescribed burns uh, and pheromone baiting. Baby boomer retirements are, uh, are making the forest sector face significant gaps, or a significant gap in the workforce. Uh, and another focus is also diversifying the workforce. So if you or anyone you know is interested in a sustainable, innovative sector, you might want to take a look deeper into the woods. Forests are managed sustainably in Alberta. And as you can see, many uh, discoveries have already been made. And there's tremendous potential if we continue to invest in this renewable resource. Thank you.